I was absolutely astounded by the support, the fan appreciation and everything else in this area. And uh, just talking with other players later on, of course, in later years, realizing that this was the actual best place to play in the league. It was really great. It was something special and we were certainly a powerhouse. I'm so happy that I was a part of this whole deal and that we kind of brought it to another level, you know, and keep it going. And when we were asked about when the new team was coming in, what did we think of the name Comets? I said, absolutely, it was perfect. I thought that I could give something back because I had my three children involved in the youth hockey program. So I thought that maybe that I could help them somewhat in teaching them the fundamentals of hockey. And so that's what I did for five or six, seven years. And then I went on to coach the high school hockey team for another seven years. We had some great rivalries with uh, Smitty being in Whitesboro and me being here in Clinton. Uh, so that brought on some more interest in the game of hockey around the area. And I enjoyed it. All in all, I just tried to give back to the community a little bit. Clinton Youth Hockey, when it started back in the 50s and even in the 40s, I believe, most of the parents were not hockey parents. And with the Comets being around town, the guys all stayed, I stayed, and uh, I would come over with youth hockey and uh, help as much as I could. The uh, other players from around helped and got things going. I don't know if I would have been playing hockey had I not grown up in Clinton. At a young age, you don't really appreciate the history of a building. You know, it was just kind of always the Clinton Arena. The thing that I was lucky to benefit from most were the guys that were ex-hockey players that were still contributing their time to youth hockey programs and making sure that the kids learn the game the right way because without that foundation, I think it's hard for anyone to really develop and become a good player in the sport. The locker rooms, everything looks exactly the same, exactly how I remembered it. And a big reason why I loved coming here because it was such an old school building with so much character. I just love, I love the smell to be honest with you. I love that it's, it's right now as I'm talking to you, I'm sweating because there's no AC, there's no ventilation. Um, I'm just, I guess I'm still old school and I love that that it's just the way that it used to be. And I know it's probably not gonna be like that for much longer and, and neither are some of these other older rinks, but um, it was a, a big part of my childhood. It's not just people in Clinton who are celebrating this. I know we had Facebook groups in Rome and Utica, New Hartford, everybody wanted this. I think Central New York is a hockey hotbed that we're not Toronto, we're not Long Island, but we turn out a lot of good players. College and we've got a few pro players who played here. It's a great place to grow up. It's a great place to play hockey. And I know we're all excited. You know, we get an exhibition game here. It's not just gonna be Clinton. We're thrilled that it's there and hope to take part. When I was a youngster, and I, I think that the same thing still is in the picture today. You give me a kid that can skate and I'll teach him the rest. Don't get involved in other people's suggestions or anything else. Listen to your coaches. They're there for a reason. And above all, get your skating ability up to 100%. I would tell kids today just to do the best they can and work hard with whoever they're working with, playing with, and just keep moving on. And, and things will happen for you. Just work hard and have respect for the people that are working with you. You know, there's not that many NHL teams and there's a lot of guys want those jobs. So uh, I tell kids, you know, have fun at the game. It's a lot of fun. You'll enjoy it all your life. Find another sport, uh, do anything you want to do, but get yourself away from hockey for a month or two months. And then when you come back in September, you're very hungry. Now you want to play the game. And that's what you have to do to be able to play hockey today. It's just amazing the, the amount of votes that was received for a little town like this uh, and a little market. It just shows the power and you know votes coming from outside the, the state for us is even more extraordinary and you know there's not a more worthy cathedral than the Clinton Arena in my estimate. It, it's it's going to be amazing to have a throwback of, of those days. The sounds, the smells, the sights, everything going into that arena is just, it's brilliant. 
by far one of the most special buildings to me for m my whole playing career. Looking back at the whole history and everything else of the Clinton Arena, the, the Comets, the team, the, the area, the fans and everything else, I think this area is well deserving of, a, of an NHL game that is coming here and, and certainly would be just amazed to see, and I know I'm going to be amazed to see the fan support for this thing that when it happens. Congratulations to the Clinton Arena. I can't think of a better recipient for the Hockeyville USA than the Clinton Arena. Uh, it's an iconic building. I go back many years, and I don't want to give my age, uh, but I went there to watch the Clinton Comets with my wife and our friends. Just outstanding memories of a great building. Utica, Whitestown, New Hartford, and Rome share in this honor. Hockey has brought this area together. The Comets legend continues and has a huge impact in our downtown Utica area. Our lofts, our restaurants, our bars, potentially of the grocery stores, and so on and so on and so on. Utica is growing and hockey is a great part of it. I always looked up to the Clinton Comets for some reason. They always had the time to spend with me as a kid. Most people don't like spending time with kids if they're not theirs. And the Clinton Comets always had that ability but most importantly, they put their, their efforts into teaching youth hockey, teaching high school hockey, really giving back in a way that I still don't know if I've seen. And I don't even feel I do it well enough is what they've done. And they, they also had the ability to teach us how to be better community people. And the irony of it all is none of them are even from our community. I hope that all of us never forget how they were the catalysts and what sacrifices they made for our betterment.